Now, Isaiah Sharp with the Idaho News 6 forecast. Taking a quick look at the village at Meridian. Current temperature sitting into the 60s, going to be dropping into the 50s overnight, maybe just breaking into those upper 40s, but going to be quickly into the 80s heading into tomorrow. A nice and quiet night down at the village at Meridian. We're going to be shifting our focus now from Idaho weather over to the Sunshine State, where very active weather patterns are happening. We've been talking about it for the past couple of days. Hurricane Milton's currently sitting at a category five. You can see the eye of that hurricane forming once again as it makes its way towards the Sunshine State. It's going to be weakening to a Category 4, hopefully to a Category 3 before it makes landfall. It will be a Category 1 hurricane at least by the time it makes its way across Southern Florida. So let's take a look at the pattern as it makes its way 155 miles per hour on Wednesday, 130 miles per hour at 6 o'clock Wednesday. There is an opportunity between here and here before and it makes the coastline that it's going to become a Category 3, but it doesn't matter because it's going to be a hurricane no matter what making its way across the state 85 mile per hour winds into the morning time of Thursday. So we're going to be paying attention to this in the afternoon time heading into tomorrow. Make sure to stay here for Idaho News 6. Scott Dorval will have updates on that. But on top of the wind and on top of other things going on, the rain is going to be a huge impact. You can see near Spring Hill close to 10 inches, 12 inches of rain. Daytona Beach sitting at 9.6. This hurricane is going to be bringing in tons and tons of wind wind and rain. We will be following it as closely as we can. Let's shift our focus now back to the gem state as we've got some pretty mild weather continuing on throughout this week and it's in part because we've had a high pressure ridge that has kind of just held on for such a long time. It's been sitting right over the top of Salt Lake City, keeping the temperatures nice and warm for the southern part of the gem state as low pressure systems pass to the north. Nothing has been able to move to the south because of this high pressure ridge and that's going to be the consistent norm going in into this next week. Take a look at the weather patterns. Not too much of a cool down going into tomorrow, maybe slightly, but you see that low pressure system right there just kind of disappearing as it makes its way across Oregon. We don't really have much of a change coming on. Temperature is going to be sitting into the consistent 70s, maybe into next Thursday, Friday, Saturday. We might see a little bit of a shift, but not too much as this has been an unseasonably warm start to the fall. Temperatures into the 80s for the Boise region, 82 down in the Magic Valley, 87 up in Baker City, 93 in Mountain Home. It's not on this map, but we showed it a little bit earlier. Temperatures going into tomorrow, only going to flip flop between the Treasure Valley and the Magic Valley. 84 in Boise today, 82 tomorrow, 82 in, Bo in Twin Falls, 84 expected in Twin Falls. Let's take a closer look at what the Treasure Valley is going to hold heading into tomorrow, though. 80s across the board, nice conditions, slightly smoky skies expected because of wildfire season. The Western Central Mountain, 70s expected for McCall and Cascade, 70s also in Council and Cambridge, 80s everywhere else, sitting up at 83 in Garden Valley. 84 down in Pine. Temperatures going into the eastern central mountains going to be sitting into the 70s as well with partly cloudy skies. Not as, not as much smoky conditions expected for that region. Going to be really, really nice temperatures. Going into this weekend, temperatures will be sitting consistently into the 70s. 75 expected for your Thursday, 78 for your Friday, and then your Saturday, and then your Sunday. Let's throw on top of that Monday as well. Temperatures going to be sitting very consistent throughout this week going into the weekend. Not too much of a shift low is sitting into the 50s across the board next Tuesday going to be sitting at 74 and hopefully by that time we'll start to see a little bit of a drop in temperatures but do expect a really beautiful weekend ahead.